Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters at Sorgatron.com for basic Sorgonomics for May 15th, 2015. Friday, you're halfway through the maze, oh, almost to that summertime, guys. Uh, but anyways, uh, check out Sorgatron.com. We're going to have a post today, and I'm going to talk a little bit also at AwesomeCast.net about ThinkUp. I realized that they uh, did they, they have monthly fees now, and they have, uh, instead of just the year lump sum, which is difficult sometimes, uh, and uh, they also have multiple accounts for $10 a month. So uh, I'm looking at those, returning to that, if you want to find out a, a way to do Twitter a little differently and, and get some some great great insights on it it's one of my favorite services i've been using over the past year and i'm so happy to be able to return to it after only like a two-month hiatus so anyways so uh so there's that but the, here we're going to talk about on basic ergonomics networking yes we're going to become that kind of podcast I, uh, so, so, you know, myself, I'm an independent proprietor, uh, you know, with Sorgatron Media and everything. And, 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 you know, I have to get out there, you know, and, and I enjoy it. I honestly do enjoy it. So, so I have, you know, I'm excited whenever I see that little invite for Open Coffee Club with Alpha Lab. And I love going down and, and, and speaking to startups. And because it, to me, those are kind of the rock stars, the people that are, are, you know, brave enough to go and say, I'm going to start this new company, you know. And, and these are the kind of people that we celebrate today as the Googles and the, uh, the flickers and the, the flickers, I guess. I don't know. Uh, it, you know, the startup companies and the Ubers and, and, and everything like that. Silicon Valley is really celebrating that to a certain extent right now. So, and I love seeing that this happens right here in Pittsburgh. I don't have to go to San Francisco. I don't have to go to New York to see these things. Uh, but I'm also, of course, trying to get myself out there uh, to a point. Why do you go to something like this, right? Uh, or other events uh, around that, you know, uh, and, and or if, whether it be, you know, talking with people on, you know, finding people for Awesome Chat and Awesome Cast that I want to get involved. Or if it's for, uh, you know, just I want to get my name out there and be like, so I'm the guy they remember if they need video or social media help, right? Uh, so just generally, uh, you know, I want to be out there and want to be talking with people. I want to be part of the community, like legitimately part of the community. And that's what's nice is it's a part of the community that I want to be part of. You know, I'm not working for somebody that's like, well, yeah, you have to work with the biotech industry and you have to go schmooze with these people and this and that and the other thing. And I'm just like, I don't know anything about this. You know, um, I have... Uh, it's similar issues with uh, my my health clients because like I'm hanging at 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 things with doctors and it's just uh, feels above my uh, uh, knowledge level you know because I'm like a different different things but I've been f able to find uh, well one I'm in, I've, I've found an interest in it uh, so that's been exciting and uh, and uh, and it's really worked out well I mean and I've I've had some, worked some really interesting things but uh, I I wanted to talk a little bit I I've been developing working on my strategy as far as it goes into the I, I I started off as you know like most, and it's actually really surprised as this kind of came out on uh, you know again as I mentioned I'm a big fan of this week in tech, but the big guy on early Laporte is talking about how much of an introvert he is and how many hours of of radio and and, and podcasting he does every week and 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 talking with people and strangers and everything and yet he's so introverted off off that and and I can relate to that I'm not so you know inwardly minded but i definitely uh have that you know how do i deal with this social situation kind of thing you know i'm the awkward kid at the at the school dance where do i start how do i say hi to somebody but that's it, you know going back to you know i've done some of these shows talking about fear and that's kind of you have to be in that mindset to take that on if you are that are that person. Problem number two, I have nothing to say of any interest. And I found myself in that. I'll be in a circle of people talking, and they're talking about something, 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 and sometimes in interviews. Um, and we're going, and we're talking, and then I'm like, I have nothing to say to follow up this conversation or interject into this conversation or or something like that. That's a problem I haven't solved. If you have a solution for that, other than talking about the weather and the news, Help me out with that one. Uh, but I, I've been trying to start the conversation and find somebody. You know, I walk into a room. I know. Thankful I'm getting to a certain point where I'm becoming part of the community enough that I walk in the room like there's the person. Him and her, him or her is going to tell me uh, uh, who I need to talk to, who's the interesting people to talk to, and we have a starting point, and we're all good, you know. Uh, so I found my comfort zones there, but uh, but otherwise, if I'm just kind of walking into a room and I'm like, okay, where do we start? Where do we start? I I find I try to find well first the, the other 
I, I, I will gravitate to the low hanging fruit in the other lost soul or the other person getting coffee. I'm like, hi, how you doing? So what are you into? There's a key right there. So I, I there's a discussion um, uh, partially, again, partially with the health uh, stuff and, and partially with the other things and, and this kind of self-identification thing. And I'm dealing with both sides of this. Personally, when I walk into one of these things, I don't know what to tell people that I do. I do a lot, obviously. I, I do podcasting. I do video. I do social media. I I, I do pro wrestling filming, you know. And 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 I uh, had a great. I had dinner with uh, uh, one of actually my students from the for the library, uh, talking social media. She does a lot of writing, and 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 she's like, when you go to one of these events, have the line in your head. Think of it on the way, whatever it is. What and 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 I've turned it into. I, I go to one of these events to say, okay, what am I today? <laughs> At least, what am I in context to the event I'm going to? If I go to the coffee club, maybe I'll say, "Oh yeah, I'm a." Oh, I, I tried this last time I was there. You know, so when somebody's like, "Well, what brings you here?" I'm like, "Well, uh, you know, are you an Alpha Lab company or are you something like that?" I'm like, "Well, I'm kind of a, a tech enthusiast." You know, <laughs> and I kind of go off from there. It gets some looks, it gets some questioning glances, but it gets people kind of like, "What?" You know, um, and also when I ask other people, uh, you know, this is a kind of self-identification of of uh, people are what they what they work. Right. Oh, he's an engineer. Oh, he's this. He's this. He's this. I kind of more try to skew the question. And maybe it's one that people don't hear us too often. It's like, so what are you into? You know, and that can be perceived on their side. You know, it depends on their motivations. Maybe they have that thought in their head of today I'm a financial planner for startups and ho I'm hoping to God that I get some 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 leads for some contacts for some uh, business today. You know, and, and whatever that turns into. Or it's like, yeah, I've been into this and that and everything. You know, and, and, it, and it maybe rolls around to the job. Again, I mean, we, we talk about social networking. We, we talk about networking. It starts at networking, you know. And you need to kind of, if you... If you're sitting there doing social media and you're not going out and communicating with people in person, I think that hampers you. If you're sitting there in an office as a social media manager and you're going over your numbers and you're, you're tweeting the tweets and you're Facebooking the Facebooks and you aren't out there interacting, pressing the flesh, so to say, and kind of experimenting there, because I think all of this is a social experiment. Is one way to look at it. Um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy that experiment, right? I enjoy kind of hacking that a little bit and playing with it. And and, and I do my scheduling. Sometimes it's like, well, I just have time to schedule this thing. And, and at least we're getting a word out there, you know. And, and, and maybe some people will see it, you know. And, and maybe we'll get some subscribers, you know, in, in some aspects. But also, you do need to reach out. And unfortunately for me, since I have so much content I'm generating, I don't have time to step back and say, hey, guys, what are you doing? What are you liking? What, what are you guys into? And that's a good question, actually. I mean, notice, I, and I got this from, from uh, as many things, I got from Gary Vaynerchuk. Sorry, I just found a card for Coin Operated Museum, which we just talked to down here. And I was like, oh, I left this card down here. I already have his email in, 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 in everything. So, um, but no, go check out Coin Operated Hall of Fame. We're going to be talking to them on Awesome Chat. I'm going to post next week. There was a diversion. But, um, but, you know, I like, you may notice, like, I sometimes I just Twitter, sup. Or how's it going today? You know, just an open-ended question. Let somebody else interpret it, the meaning. Let somebody else respond. And I get everything from, oh, everything's going to crap. I'm like, or man, I'm really enjoying wrestling last night. Or you know, and and because I do serve several different audiences with these shows, and it's kind of interesting to see who surfaces, who's noticing, who's paying attention at that moment, right? And 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 I don't have consistency to that, but I get a starting point. And, and it's just kind of throwing that out there. And again, that, that's kind of what I'm trying to do in person. So break it down. Find interesting ways to introduce yourself. What are you into? Well, what, what brings you here? That's a kind of a bad one. But that's my starting point. What are you today? Some of you, it's easy. It's like, I'm here for leads. I'm I'm such and such, which such a company. We help companies do blah blah blah. You have your pitch. You have your 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 standing pitch. Something that they teach the guys over at Alpha Lab, right? And just have fun. It's a, it's a, it, you know, I, I'm you know maybe you're there for a business reason. I'm there because I'm into it first, 
And I hope maybe I'll get a client out of it. I don't think I've gotten a client out of an Alpha Lab Open Coffee Club, and I've been going for about three years. It's just fun to go to. And I get people, I find new people to talk to on these things in my little studio on this microphone. And it's expanded uh, a worldview, I guess you could say. Let me know your thoughts. How are you with networking? Do you go out to a lot of them? Let me know on the Twitters, at Sorgatron. Comments on Sorgatron.com, wherever you may find this in a video form on Facebook or YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube if you're into that. Subscribe to us on iTunes. Uh, we're on. I think we're on searchable on Stitcher now, so go check in there. Wherever you find us. Hi, Dan Hooven. You're probably listening to me while you're jogging. Hi, hi Dan Hooven. I'm waiting for his tweet. Hey, yo, Dan's really good, because I will, I will drop a name or drop a question, and he'll tweet me out somewhere later in the day. I'll see a tweet from him. And, uh, and that's really cool. Uh, uh, Dan and Gabriel out in Portland. Uh, Dan's in Pittsburgh. But uh, you guys are my MVPs for this show, for sure. And uh, I really appreciate that. Other than that, and, and, and then the other the other random people that say, oh, I've been listening to your show, you know, which still, I talked about that before, still surprises me when someone's like, oh, yeah, I listen to you. It's like, I thought I'd just been doing this by myself. I, you know, but that's, that's, maybe that's why I'm not so introverted on the microphone, because I just think I'm talking to myself. But there you go. See you guys next time. Subscribe. And uh, we'll be back on Basic Sorgonomics next Tuesday. Later. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.